Question 16. The diagram shows a triangle. So here you've got a right angle triangle, but instead of uh, measurements, you've got letters and numbers. X minus 1, 3x plus 1, 3x. In the diagram, all the measurements are in metres. So that means that's 3x metres long, but we don't know what x is. And that one's 3x plus 1 metres long. And this one is x minus 1 metres long. The perimeter of the triangle is 56 metres. The area of the triangle is A metres squared. Work out the value of A. So, area of a triangle is A. That's what we've got to work out, the area of a triangle. And remember that area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So if we know 3x and we times it by x minus 1 and then we divide by 2 we'll get A. So first of all we need to find out what x is. So that's where we use this information that the perimeter of the triangle is 56 meters. So that means that the distance all the way around the triangle is 56. So that means that x minus 1, that part, plus 3x plus 1, that part, plus 3x is equal to 56. I'll tidy this up so I'll gather like terms. So we've got an x, a 3x and a 3x, that's 7x. We've got a minus 1 and a plus 1, so that cancels each other out to 0. And then 7x equals 56, which means that x, 7x is a 56, so x must be 8, because 7 times 8 is 56. So now we know that x is 8, we know that the base is 3x, which is 3 times 8 which is 24 metres. And we know that the height is x minus 1, which is 8 minus 1, which is 7 metres. So A, the area, is base times height divided by 2. So 24 times by 7 divided by and that is, I'm going to do 12 times 7, because that does the same thing, so 10 times 7 is 70, add 2 more 7s, that's 84 metres squared. Put that there.